Uh, kia ora koutou, this is Harvey Testicles for Eyes on the Balls News. We are reporting live today from a local hobby league where a rocket has been detonated, killing three duelists in the process and injuring at least one other. We would like to go now to an eyewitness who was on the scene. Who was that? Uh, anyway, onto the deck profile. Um, so yeah, I was first at locals on Friday, going 301 with rockets. Uh, now this is pure rockets, there's no guard dragons in here whatsoever, so none of those Oh, it's just a guard dragon spam deck, blah 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 No, this is pure rockets um, As they were, as God intended um, Anyway, so best, one of the best boys of the deck uh, Three magna rocket dragon All the rockets, um, well most of the rockets um, During the end phase, if they were destroyed and in the graveyard You can special summon another one from the deck to the field of a different name uh, This guy, um, when he's targeted by a link monster's effect he can destroy himself and then send one monster on the field to the graveyard. So it's kind of like Dengesu, it's non-targeting removal that doesn't destroy. Uh, absolute best boy of the deck is Rocket Tracer. This guy gets everything going. You chain all your quick play spells and everything. Uses effect to target the quick play spell card. And then bam, you've suddenly got two rockets on the board and then you can go nuts. Um, third, third um, three Star Leech Seafoot Dragons. Um, he's really good for getting your combos going off. Him by himself um, does get you into the baby Chaos Dragons, which I do run one of each. But um, he also has some good combos as well, where you can like dump Absorouter Dragon. Absorouter Dragon is a level seven dragon, important. And if it goes to the gra um, goes to the graveyard, you can add a Rocket Monster from your deck to the from your deck to your hand. And he's also an extender as well. If you control a rocket, special summon him to the board, and suddenly two rocket, uh, two dragons on board, and away you go. But um, he combos with Seafood as well because if you dump him, because he's level seven, you dump him, and you can, you'll end up searching a rocket with Absorouta. But then you also get your Tempest Dragon Ruler of Storms to your hand, and then yeah, Beat Stick, Extender keeps coming back each turn. Brilliant stuff. Um, now, so all my one-offs, uh, Silver Rocket, he attacks the extra deck, not monsters on thing. Uh, Metal Rocket, he destroys everything in a column. Auto Rocket, take out pesky spells and traps. Shell Rocket, if you feel like nuking this and then nuking everything next to it. It's kind of cool, very niche, but he's just there as a different rocket name. Uh, rocket Synchron. This guy is pretty insane once you get him into your loops because if you've got Router or Tempest in the grave you can use his effect on normal summon to bring them back from the graveyard and then he's a tuner as well, go into a level 8 which is um, your Savage Dragon or something else I was playing. Uh, another extender, Gateway Dragon. Um, if your opponent controls a Link monster, just special summon to the board then you can special summon. So it's all about just getting more monsters on the field without having to use your normal summon. Uh, yet yeah, the two baby chaos dragons works with Seafit. So yeah, idea is if you open up a bit sluggish, uh, normal summon your Seafit, use the effect, send yourself to the graveyard, and then grab the dark one, banish banish Seafit from grave. Um, special summon collapse serpent. Hey, we've got a level four lower dragon monster. Go into your striker dragon. Strike a dragon to search for the bottle, um, for the rocket field spell, and then collapse serpent gets your white wide dragon burster. Um, no hand traps, no monster hand traps at least. Anyway, um, kind of combo deck. The more rockets you see, the better with this deck, especially now that we've got strike a dragon to search out the field spell. But we do have also three quick launch as well. E Telly for um, rockets. Uh, three super poly. Yeah. Like, like I said, this deck isn't running any hand traps, so you do need something to answer your opponent's board. So Super Poly is um, pretty bloody good. And there is, a, I am running one card as well in the extra deck that you can use with the rockets. Um, co more combo deck shenanigans, three called by the grave. I need to go off, I need my place to go through, so three called by a standard. Uh, two boot sector launch. Um, so got two effects. Uh, Special summon up to two rocket monsters from your deck to, from your hand to the field, or 
if you've got a bunch in the grave and it's getting late in the game and this is still up and your opponent's answered your board back, you go cool, activate effect, and then you special summon rockets from the graveyard up to the number of monsters that your opponent controls. Really bloody good. Cool, uh, this is plan B. If all else fails, and this did come up did come up, up in one of my matches where I got in the where I got in the buried. Um, he gives me a very nice very nice token, gives himself in the buried, and then you just pop Dragon's Mirror down, and that can pump out either fusion uh, starving venom if you're using monsters on the board. You know you just need a bit of firepower, or the Borrow Load Furious Dragon, which um, it's got a quick effect to destroy one monster, uh, target one monster on your side of the field and one card on your opponent's side of the field and just blow them both up. So he's really bloody good and yeah we'll go more back into him when we get there. But yeah, plan B is the Dragon's Mirror if everything goes tits up, um, banish two rockets from your graveyard and then keep going. Uh, one offs, Shrine and Foolish just to start getting like Absa Router in the graveyard or Tempest to start setting up uh, uh, rocket synchron plays and everything or start loading up for your boot sector launches as well uh, reborn you invest a lot a lot of field presence going into your big bad boys so if they leave the board for whatever reason reborns just a one card get them back and three traps infinite impermanence good card first and second can't get hand trapped itself uh, can't get caught by the grave itself so it's pretty good now extra deck strike a dragon He's got two effects. The first one on summon, he searches for a boot, um, boot sector launch field spell. But he's also got another one as well where he can target one face up monster you control and one rocket monster in your graveyard. Destroy that monster on the field, and if you do, add that monster to, from your graveyard to your hand. So he can recycle a bit, but he's also a one card link monster that can target other rockets on the board if you need to start um, firing some. Bo bullets off across the pitch and taking out your opponent's resources and get your rockets going. Uh, Delingris and Quad Borrow. Um, this is just the weird little combo where you go into your Quad Borrow, go into your Delingris underneath and use Quad Borrow's effect to, to destroy Delingris, bring back, which special summons back two rocket monsters and then Delingris' effect can special summon them back. So weird little combo. Uh, quad Borrow is also really good as Really good as well for clearing out opponents' some um, big link monsters. You destroy a link four, you bring back four rockets, three, bring back three, yada yada. Uh, no dragon decks complete without Hieratic Seal or Heavenly Spheres. Uh, pretty good. Um, your first turn board, if you're going first, normally ends on this and a couple of big boys. So that's that. Booster Dragon, it's a pure rocket deck. So um, he's really good. He can bring back, um, if he's destroyed himself, he can special summon like dragon, you can target um, one other dragon monster in your graveyard including your big link monsters and bring it back or he's like a borrow low dragon on, but only on your turn where you can just like target something to make a gain attack but yeah that sets off your rockets triple burst, all round good guy uh, my big boys, borrow sword and borrow low dragon uh, stuff borrow guard, that thing's garbage but yeah Different tools for different measures, um, OTK, uh, controlling the board without destroying, but either way they've got quick effects that you can use to target your rockets and destroy shit. Um, other big boy, Bomber Dragon, um, just if you need to do some damage and doesn't uh, means that you don't need to like climb up, because these guys need 3 plus effect monsters, this guy only needs 2 plus effects, so if you've done like the Quad Borrel Delingerous combo, you can sit there and just go into a bomber dragon and be with that. Uh, Synchros, borrow load savage dragon. Everyone knows what he does. Bring back. He's big boy negates, gains attack. Um, my other synchro I ran as well. I was going to play red dragon up, arcfiend scarlight, but I ended up going with Draco berserker of the tenue. Um, yep, pretty bl pretty bloody good. Um, he won me a couple of games as well because. When your opponent activates a monster quick effect, you can just like banish the monster. So it's not it's non-targeting banishment and force your opponent to like really think about what uh, monster effects they're gonna use. Uh, then for my fusions, the starving venom, I'm running uh, I'm running bloody what is it, super polymerization, so yeah that's 
Uh, that's a standard given. Uh, Borrowload Furious Dragon. This just needs two Dark Dragon Monsters. Sometimes you can get it off on your opponent if they're playing Dragon Link or something. Uh, but best thing about them, quick quick effect, target one monster you control and one card your opponent controls, destroy them. So once again you can do, you'll can you be um, destroying your rockets and destroying your opponent's cards and keep floating around. But then this guy also, if you can banish this card from your graveyard, target one Dark Link monster in your graveyard, special summon it. But it cannot activate its effects this turn. So he's re he's really good as well because he can sit there and just like help you like recur your big guys. Because this deck doesn't, even though it's all a bunch of floaters, like it's very heavy investment to go into your big link fours there. So anything like that, that can come back. And last 15th card in the extra was Diaplexa Chimera. Just in case you come up against like Marincius or um, Salamangrate, you've got something there. Uh, but anyway, yeah, my matchups. Uh, first matchup was against Furnoids. Um, that was uh, fairly easy. Did get some decent mills off, but in the end, I just like if he's destroying all my stuff, all my rockets are floating, whatever. Uh, second second matchup, I kind of pooed the bit on that one. That was against um, Sky Striker, uh, Sky Striker Trickstar. I stuffed up um, FT, um, an OTK. Um, game one where I forgot that a Shizuku was lowering my stuff so I rammed a Rocket Synchron oh not Rocket Synchron uh, yeah ended up end up ramming Rocket Tracer into his Shizuku stupidly instead of just attacking with Bottle Sword Dragon and yeah that cost me the cost me the game won game two and then game three was just called in time uh, two owed uh, Pendul Pendulum Magicians uh, yeah Super Poly helped in that one as well and just like just general floating around and stuff oh no no he got game one on me because he just opened the tits and then game two uh game two and three like just opened subpar and last game was against mech knights kind of helps if he opens mech knights but he didn't so yeah there was a pretty bloody easy one he he was the guy that did nibiru me though and then yeah just plan beat it with the old dragon's mirror to go into the borrelo furious dragon but anyway, thanks very much for watching. That's my rocket deck for December. Consider it my gift to you this holiday season. But anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching. Have a great holiday season, eh? Cheers.